Time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. It's it's an ending time. It's the end of the week for me. I almost didn't film right now, but time is running out. This uh, this place, this this room is going to be ending. It's going to be destroyed or something, or else uh, inhabited by someone else. But it's more dramatic to say it's going to be destroyed because it's an ending time. It's the end of the week, and I almost didn't want to do this because I'm very tired. And I just kind of would like to sit with a book or something. But we must proceed. Because today could be the end of one of our four competitors. Um, we've already had some moves off camera that have happened that I should tell you about right now. So let's take a look. Uh, so first, Flush, who's kind of caused all this trouble, who's advanced things to the point that it might end soon, perhaps this turn, uh, took some more for himself. He said, oi, it's my go. And he took the turn marker from Runt uh, so that he's going to kind of slow her down really because she takes less precedent and he's going to get to do things first. Um, after that we had our first start empire of the turn the modern Chinese. Now modern Chinese you say they're not supposed to be able to come in until age six but Cowboy played this time ripple allowing them to play them now so he is going to try a gambit that might allow him the points he needs in order to survive. We shall see. So, here is Cowboy's plan, and I will tell you it right now. He is going to attack right here. The modern Chinese can start anywhere in China. China is loosely defined here. I don't, it doesn't go over there. Um, you kind of have to, the, this game doesn't really totally define its regions very well. You kind of have to just know. <laughs> I mean, it gives you some help, helpful things, like this line tells me China ends there, but it doesn't really say which line is for which region, right? Anyway, he could start anywhere there. He's going to start here, um, damage flush, and then they get. A, he's going to get a free maneuver because the Chinese are that great, the modern Chinese are that great, and then hope to spread out and hold more areas in Asia. If he can hold more areas in Asia than the Mongolians, he's going to score two points with them on that. If he can spread out a lot, he may even score even more points by having the world. He's not going to score on either of these two things this turn. But hopefully his idea is he can cut back, he can hurt his opponents, and spread himself. So there, this, this, this fight that's going to happen now First between him and Flush, and then probably, depending on what happens then, between him and Giraffe, it's going to, um, could matter. Now Cowboy won handily. He now has a majority in Asia, just all in one turn, which is pretty spectacular. And this huge stack here. I mean, coming coming in with this these higher technology units really get, does give a big advantage. He, this, this stack of defensive things is 24 plus 18. That's a lot. Um, also won a strange battle here. He sent a knight over here. Giraffe used a charge card. Not a credit card, but a card that allowed her person to charge, which gave her the, the advantage. Oh, no, it was actually West Siberia here. Uh, gave her the advantage, but um, they tied several times, and then eventually she just didn't roll. She didn't get any attack dice on the final uh, roll, so Cowboy won that one, and then she was forced to retreat to Transoxiana. We have seen some interesting and relevant production this turn. First, the Mongolians, uh, they had a they had a great production. Um, both both Runt and Giraffe have used special cards to aid in their pr production. Giraffe used Militia, which made it so she didn't have to pay maintenance costs for all of her units. And Runt put La Patrie, La, La, let me try to say it really well, La Patrie en Danger, um, which made it so that she didn't have, she, it was cheaper to, to get people to join her side. She was like, la patrie en danger, and all the Germans came running, and now she's all built up and ready for a reckoning with those Ukrainians, so that's a fun little clash here. Not a good position for Cowboy, but it's interesting. You know, we're seeing kind of a leapfrog. So here we have this kind of like a confrontation here. I want your wheat. No, we want Europe. And then, um... Like we're Ukrainians and we're or no we're Russians and and so he's like oh I gotta kind of protect my rear They're like oh we're gonna leave you alone he's like I don't I don't like that I'm gonna come over here and then he's like I'm flushed down here see that in my excitement I forgot to note that giraffe built a lot of Mongolian boats that is gonna cost points for the English here they 
definitely no longer have the most boats the Mongolians do, although they don't have them in the water anywhere. They haven't maneuvered in a while. They just did their fancy New World trick and then uh, produced to have some more units over there. Um, now something even more exciting is happening though. It's called Trade in Progress. And what's happening with Trade in Progress? Well, Inuits. No, not Inuits. Bargain. Flush got that card again and I said I thought it was in the discard pile, but it was in his hand. I must have shuffled. Um, so he is going to, and he actually technically hasn't revealed this yet to other people that he's played. He has this card. Yeah, because you have to do the first one first. But he's going to go ahead and trade with Giraffe because she only has one card. Um, could have traded with the Germans, but the Germans have reinforced trading now. So he's going to trade with the Mongolians. And their trade rating is zero, which is better than... Well, I guess the Germans would have been zero, too. Hmm. Germans are a little further back. He doesn't like how they're built up there, though. But then he's got the Mongolians there. Hmm. I think he likes that she only has one card. Maybe maybe it's something good. So he's got he's giving her a four card. She's giving him a two card. So it's going to be... Do the Portuguese get any bonus? This is, this is an important trade. Nope. So it's going to be four to two straight up. No bonuses on that. We'll let... Well, actually, flush should be red, right? Um, let's just roll it up here. And, yeah, he's definitely got it, doesn't he? Doesn't he? You see that? You see how plain that is? Dunk. A dunk. He's got one. She's got nothing. One beats nothing. So, he is in the critical point. Now, something could change by the end of the, the round. Um... But it's looking like this is going to be the time. And he might just want to seal the deal since he has that card anyway. These guys go forward. Can, does she have any? Yeah, she does have some money. So he'll take two from her and give himself, where is his marker? Two for the Portuguese. Okay, so what does he want to trade? It's this crummy Chams card, and he knows what she has. Easy kind of wanted to save. I think he's going to trade the crummy Chams card with the Germans now. Right there. And Runt. That's fun. Um, she might want her Germans to do better. She's got some good cards. Oh, and that's nice. She can use this kind of boot. Oh, but involved in. No, yeah, she can do a little like boomerang on herself. Um, oh, but she doesn't have any uh, wreaths, so she can't do the rope money. I lost my tweezers. Okay, well, I think she'll trade the Dutch. I don't know that she will. Yeah, she's not interested in playing the Dutch because they're right there. She does. Does she want him to play the Dutch, though? He might play the Dutch, and that would be a problem. I think she's going to give him the Parthini Parthenians. So then it's going to be a three. The Germans? No, the Germans are at zero. So it's a two to two. That's an exciting trade. Let's do that. Red will be flush again. Yellow is runt. And here we have runt wins out. Reason why is because flush didn't get any attack dice. So that's still okay for him though. He's still going to move forward one. Um, wow, he's almost an age seven. And she's going to go forward two, which is great for her. She can now get those kinds of cannons instead of just these kinds of cannons. Uh, maybe this is artillery. Would you would you have a word for that? Is that artillery? And this is not artillery. This is a cannon. Is that the difference? Is that a? Uh, all right. We're just beginning the maneuver phase with the Ukrainians, and they are they have they picked two fights. Uh, one over here in uh, I think the Low Countries. It's all kind of cramped in Europe, which uh, perhaps. Uh, Europeans can attest to. Um, and then the other one here in the Don Basin, I had a building manager named Don. He was a really nice guy and he gave me a coat. Um, so we'll see how this works. This is going to be a big, this is a big move for Cowboy. One, it's going to help him uh, retain majority or get a majority in Europe. Let's, let's do the counting right now. I, I haven't actually done this. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He'll have ten if he wins. And that would be one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so if he wins this, he'll have the majority of Europe, and he'll also be getting another point for having the low countries wheat uh, right there. So I'll work that out and let you know how it works out. The maneuver for Cowboy was a success. He won both battles. Um, just a little more detail. Runs units got eliminated, because he won by a greater margin. And giraffes did not. They were able to escape into Mordovia. Japanese just had their civilized action. A uh, big thing they did, well, they did two things. One was success of the other, wasn't The big thing they did was they put a lot of special artifacts on the Portuguese. So that made it so the Portuguese now have printing, computing, and radio. So they have the most artifacts now, which is going to finally cut into the Pharaonic Egyptians' um, artifact dominance. They've been scoring on that. The Portuguese don't score on artifacts, but uh, it, it's, uh, it, it does count for keeping points away from run. And also, Flush is going to get some nice uh, bonuses for the Portuguese that other people aren't going to get until they get to this square here. I only put the printing marker, but it's a substitute for all three. I don't know where the other markers are. There's so many. Uh, the other thing he tried to do is he, or he did and didn't do, is he tried to mess with giraffe and cowboy. Uh, he put a flood going through here, which is successful. I guess I should probably put a disorder there, too. Um, this river here flooded, which messed up her, her Russians. And then he tried to cause a disease in uh, Ukrainian land that was unsuccessful he all he was able to foment a, a mild rebellion a mild uprising which just put a disorder in the capital there that's gonna do it for the turn it's the moment of truth I I haven't done the, the scoring I you know if you're playing this game you're gonna be doing the scoring as you go kind of figure out you know or you could anyway you could calculate what moves would help you score more I haven't been doing that all the time. I do that occasionally uh, for particular players, but not all the time. So I really don't know how this is going to turn out after the scoring. I'm kind of nervous. I'm, I can guarantee you, I think, I'm, well, I can't guarantee you. I'm pretty positive, however, that flush is not going down this time. Um, this time it, it hasn't been close either uh, compared to all the other times. He's just barely escaped elimination. I think he's kind of gotten things going to the point where that's not going to be the case. I just realized though, um, and I wanted to get this off my chest while I'm talking to you, that I've been forgetting. One reason the leaders haven't been as important, I commented on this a, a while back, is I've been forgetting to give them their special, their extra actions. Um, I had, for a while I had made the rule change where leaders could act on their own, you know, if, as long as you put an action marker down on them. I totally forgot. I've been forgetting to do that. So no wonder the leaders haven't been doing as much. They they have had less freedom to do so. Uh, so I will remember to do that in the future, and I think they'll be popping back into the game a little bit more. But right now, someone's got to be popping out. Well, it ended up being a difference of just seven points. Seven points, and... I have to wonder at times like this if if maybe I was just a little more attentive during some various times some, didn't make some certain mistakes that I made whether those seven points would have been shifted one way or another uh, I set up set it up so someone had to fail someone has to be the one who has less while someone else has more that's the way the system is that's the way this world works um, and then once you set that up, you have to wonder, does it even really matter if, if you're fair with, with doling, it, doling out what happens, with, with guiding what happens after that point? I mean, if the system in, inherently has to have a loser, is, can, can that system ever be fair? I don't know. Uh, I haven't really thought about it. I'm just talking. Uh, but let's hear about the one who is going to leave us now. Occupation truck driver, coast to coast. Secret fantasy to someday have my truck paid for and be out of the hole. An unusual fact about cowboy, always late, never on time. Pet peeve, tourists going too slow, chapped lips. My pet peeve is lip balm. Uh, I'd like to meet the old fellow. Personal motto, gotta go miles to put behind me.
He's most proud of his wife and his truck. His reputation in high school is bad. Three words that describe cowboy are good, bad, always late. For some reason this seems, the cowboy's card, especially now, seems like the card of a ghost. Someone who's gone. Like all the words seem that they could allude to someone who's passed, uh, but he's still here. He's going outdoors. He's taking his truck many miles into the woods, and we'll see see if he can come out of that sometime in the future. Not next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, but sometime in the future. Goodbye, cowboy.